They ambushed us. What the fuck? Drop your weapons! Drop them! They took my brother. I should have protected him. He always wanted to be just like me. I knew you'd come. I'll find him. And I'll make them pay. Go deep inside Eastern Europe, to Georgia. Help stabilize the region and find your brother. Improvise. To be one step ahead of your enemies. Sniper, Ghost Warrior 3, be more. Italian 1944 is a World War II multiplayer first-person shooter coming to PC, Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Battalion recaptures the core of classic multiplayer shooters, utilizing the most advanced industry technology to propel World War II into the next generation of video games. Battalion gives gamers a visceral and heart-thumping experience, crafted by designers who've grown up playing games like Medal of Honor and Call of Duty. It just seems like the right time because it's something we want to play and something that doesn't exist, so why wouldn't we just make it? We want to design a game that goes back to what we wanted when we were kids, the things we were playing that we were enjoying. In Call of Duty 2, we had these, these tight maps that were really good for like close quarters, gritty combat. That really worked with the Thompson and with Car 98, one-shot rifles. That stuff all came together so well. But we have a team that's ready to take on the challenge of building a World War II shooter. Players will be able to add individuality to their characters and weapons in multiple ways. For instance, gun engraving, custom clan insignias, and uniform customization, all within Battalion's authentic World War II style. These unlocks offer no gameplay breaking advantages, but will instead offer unique visual modifications. 
We had this epic down the barrel experience that can only really be made by the game designers who grew up playing with Medal of Honor, United Offensive, and Enemy Territory. We want to make maps that favor all kind of ranges and actually make it so that you have to play that map to your style. If you want to play a classic World War II shooter that's being made for the modern generation, now is the time to support the development of Battalion 1944 by pledging towards our Kickstarter campaign. Please take a look at our numerous backer rewards and feel free to visit our social media pages via our website at battaliongame.com. up at least. <laughs> It'll take more than rain for that. Shit. They're getting closer. We should get off the streets. Our shift ends in an hour. I need sleep. You can sleep in the truck. No, thank you. <clears throat> Is that the last of them? Almost. There's a couple more in the alley. One was the warehouse, the other... You're in the wrong place, girl. What the hell? 
Got you. Nowhere to run. Oh, shit, no. Back up. Go on for power. No. You're late. I thought you were professional. Oh, you should relax. You'll live longer. Is there a ship? Hold on. Is there a ship to the uh, south west uh, just behind that island? It really looks like now. a ship. Hang on. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. directly ahead of us now. Directly ahead of us. Directly ahead of us. Okay, hang on. That's a, that's a ship. Well, it might be. That's got to be a is, ship. Yeah, it's directly. Is somebody in the crow's nest? Like hang on. Let me ring the bell. Come ship on. ahead. Ship ahead. Let's let's. It's directly. Let's head over there. Rectify the mistake from before. Come on. Which would be to avoid them, right? Let's... Is it the way we need to go <laughs> no, anyway? No, no, it wouldn't be. It would be let's not screw it up at this time and let's sink them and then let's get away. Yeah. Right. Can... No promises. Right, that's what's going to happen. Are we cannonballing or no? Oh, they're firing. Oh, they're they're firing. firing. They're they're firing. Shoot. They're they are shooting at us. us. They're, they're shooting. Us. They're shooting. Head to the right. Yeah, I'm steering right. Yeah. Okay, I'm we on got damage hit, control, got I'm on damage control. Seeing as I'm crap at cannons. Oh, How's it looking down there? We're leaking. It's okay. Oh, I'm firing over them. Low we're out of range, we're out of range. Are we? No, we're not. They can't we're not. hit us now. Uh, I'm still, we're still attacking. Okay. No, I, I, I'm saying, like, hold on. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 you got it, you got, got it. it. We can keep Taking hitting them. Wait, drop the anchor, drop water. the anchor. Drop yeah, the anchor, drop, drop the anchor. anchor. Dropped it. Right, everyone on cannons. Everyone on cannons. Give them a broadside. Oh! So, they've got someone's on board! board. Someone's <laughs> on board! <laughs> They're all they on board! Oh, Emma. Who's Emma. on board? Oh no, yeah. Christina, it's the we're on the same It's the same crew as yeah. well. They've completely f***ing done us again. I don't believe it. <laughs> Emma, they're on board. <laughs> Shh. Okay, um, uh, there's, there's one of them down here. Coming back. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Ah, uh, okay. Solder the rotty. I'm gonna. Ah, no, no, he killed me. No, he's getting me. Ah! Run, run, run. I'm, I'm loading. This is hilarious just listening, by the way. No, I'm listening to it as well. Oh, were you guys all Were you guys all dead? Was it coming just back me? from the ghost ship?
favorite openings in a video game I've seen in a long time. So phenomenal stuff and, and hats off to the Arcane team for, for putting it together. Agreed. So it's our first day. Time to put on our Transtar uniform. Get ready to go up on the spaceship. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. um, so mm -hmm. wh what is Prey? Prey is uh, out of Arcane who did Dishonor. They did uh, Arx Fatalis. Um, as you're probably noticing right off the bat, we're including this stuff because it kind of reveals that this is a first-person simulator. This is kind of an immersive sim. Let's just hop right on to the spaceship. Well, let's see. Oh, things, oh my gosh. Things are not great up on the spaceship. I like how we went from the most serene footage to the most not serene footage possible. Look, it's a simulator, but it's not apartment simulator 2064. <laughs> um, this is... A game where things have gone wrong yes. and we need to figure out what's going on. Gone very, 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 very wrong. So let me just, I, I've not seen this. This is, I, I'm sort of the resident dummy on this one. I am the biggest fan in the world of sort of the shock games. So uh, I, 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 I actually would consider System Shock 2 to be my favorite game of all time. Bioshock high on the list. So um, without having seen a ton of this game, it's giving me that vibe big time. And absolutely. As it, as it should. I mean, it absolutely has that emergent, player-driven choice style of gameplay that room and not even notice it. Um, so they really, oh my, who are these friendly looking fellas? Uh, again, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna really question um, <laughs> some of you guys' instincts. Um, these are not friendly. Um, these are phantoms and these are the hardest enemies that I saw. Interesting. Um, I, uh -oh. So this, did you not go into this room, Ryan? Not, no. Remember, you, you went much further than I did. I was too busy reading email. So <laughs> I, I had to hack my way into this room. Um, so this, I think, kind of demonstrates how challenging some of the kind of fight uh, situations can be. Bam. So um, again, th these guys are doing some pretty serious damage. You can see the health indicator in the, in the bottom left. And I'm really having to kind of strategically think about how I'm going to kind of pause, you know, put put health kits on, um, and then you know use this kind of stun gun or perhaps the kind of the glue cannon to freeze them and then finish them off with, with the wrench. Uh, I, th I think I've, we haven't played much of it, but oh, yeah. ammo is going to be sparse. I think. Yeah. Um, it does look like there's a recharging health system. I noticed. It's down. Yeah, down in the lower left. Uh, it is definitely very. I wouldn't say punishing, but you you definitely have to be cognizant of your health and. Your health. Superman's behind bars. He couldn't see his good intentions were leading him down a path of tyranny and evil. That's how our greatest hero became our greatest threat. Bruce, consider widening your circle of trust. Nobody wins all by themselves. Not even you. We need help, don't we? Not his. I'm not that guy anymore. Look, I get why you don't trust me, but you should trust the Guardians. This ring means something. They put me through hell to get it back. Don't worry, Bats. With this crew on the job, what could go wrong? What comes next? Mere mortals cannot stop. We both knew it had come to this. Fate will not spare you. You'll wish you had. Today I've been reminded how I failed to be a hero. How many more innocent people die before you accept that some lives need to be taken? The regime is making a comeback. Not while I'm wearing this ring. knew it would end this way. Okay, so we found the main lockdown console. Lockdown deactivated. Reinitiating systems. Looks like we've deactivated Attention. the lockdown. Access restrictions for this sector have been revoked. Please Go back outside and we can swing around places. and see what else Chavez has to tell us. Oh, but we have some new friends out here. This must be the uh, hazard response squad that was mentioned in that announcement while we were underground. 
but they appear to consider us contaminated and in need of cleansing by fire, I suppose. You gotta be careful with these guys. Uh, the guys who shoot the uh, gas canisters aren't all that dangerous by themselves. Their gas canisters will deal damage while you're in the radius. But with the fire guys, they're quite dangerous. So the, the gas there is flammable and it'll explode if a flamethrower touches it. And so the way to deal with this, as you can see, uh, is to split them apart a little bit. So Torsen is using the concussive module on his drone to knock these guys away from each other, give himself a little room to work. The explosions will hurt the, the enemies as well, but you can see they're kind of equipped to handle this sort of thing, so it's, it would hurt you a lot more. These guys have a weakness, it looks like. Boom! So their fuel tanks are a vulnerable spot. And if you can get in there, take advantage of it, then you can make them pay. Okay. Threat dispatched. Well done. So, that's the surge. Uh, it's a hardcore action RPG, like I said before, the focus on tactical melee combat. If we're going to allow players to generate their own tracks, we want those players to be able to share them between each other, making sure that they can set challenges, send them to their friends. There's potentially millions, a near infinite amount of stages that we can create. We have ways of setting up the stage to make it more technical. So you've got more corners or it's a much more flowing stage, so there's many more straights in there. Along with that, we have the elevation, so you've got more heights and more change in jumps and that kind of thing. My dream has been to make a stage in Dirt 4, share it to all my fans. I put uh, time in, hopefully nobody beats me. But to make a proper competition out of this, if somebody beats me, it will be some proper trophies. It's not about memorizing the same stage and being robotic. It's about being open and challenging yourself to a different road every time. From what I've seen, the concepts of what will be in the new game it really opens it up to a completely new dimension. And for me, it is trying to capture what rally driving is about. The kick I get out of it, the buzz I get out of it, is putting myself against different roads around the world, going around the side of a mountain, not knowing what's coming, and putting that pure trust in the pace notes that you're getting. If it all works, there's no better buzz. For me, it's what I live for. I think all the competition, what we're doing, is to try to get better. Not to maybe drive all the time to learn a stage. It's all about listening to the car driver and try to get the flow and the rhythm. It's exciting to get your teeth into something. We try and translate that into what we see in the game. And it's fantastic working with these guys here at Codemasters.